It's easy to say that you didn't know. You didn't know what you had, but you don't. You educate and you know that they don't make them like me anymore. So Shalom, everyone. This is Tay Janice. I'm here with another prophetic word from the Lord thy God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I hope and pray that you guys are having a great day so far. I'm going to get right into this word, right into this message that the Holy Spirit has given to me to give to you. So the title of this message is, You Were Right in My Face. You Were Right in My Face. This message may not be for everyone, so you want to make sure that you take this word, take this message back to the Lord in prayer. Not every prophetic word is for you, so don't try to make it fit. Don't you do it, don't you do it. Just take take the word, take the message back to the Lord in prayer by praying. So before we get started, I'm going to get right into this scripture that the Lord has given to me to give to you. And that first scripture, um, it's going to be coming from the book of James, and it's talking about, it's talking about, excuse me, where we confess our sins one to another and pray for each other. Um, the prayers of a righteous person is powerful and effective. So once you have that forgiveness in there, and you pray for one another and talk to one another, you know, and you're living right and doing right, the prayers of a righteous person that wants to do what's right is it's powerful and effective. The Lord is moving in your life that way suddenly. Amen. Let's do a quick prayer. Spirit of the living God, we thank you in advance for this message. I ask and pray that it be none of me and all of you. Have your way, sweet, precious God that you are. Bless every household need of faith. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. But if this message is for you, then this person was going by the old version of you. They were going by your past the person who you used to be, the person who you were. And for many of them, the enemy, you know, the devil put thoughts inside of this person's mind, put thoughts in this person's head and tricked them. And many times they couldn't even make a clear decision on what they needed to do or what they should do because they were so blinded by the past. They were not willing to um, let go their way of thinking how they believe and think that things should go or how they believe and think what they actually deserve and have instead of trusting God and stepping out on faith. This person decided to see you for your past, not to see you for who you were currently, not to see the changed person of you. Many of them, they have a whole lot of regret because this person, you know, knows that they're not going to find anyone like you. You were their one true friend. You were their one true lover. You are their one true person that they can go to and talk to about anything that they can share information with. You are right at this person's aid. And this is um, going to be a, a partial lyrical message because this is the song that was playing. And um, this is what gave me this lyric, you know, this message today that the Lord had dropped in my spirit. And it's by Jessica Reyes. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get right into these lyrics really quickly. And it's called Forever. And it says, Passwords, that mean you love me. I can give you what you ask for. Say you need a shooter. I can do it from the half court. I can change your life up, painting murals on your passport. Future kids all on the dashboard. Ooh, I like every flaw I see in you. This is all new. I hope I got what you need too. Because sometimes somebody loves somebody, but that body don't love them back. And it's easy to say that you didn't know. You didn't know what you had, but you don't. You educate and you know that they don't make them like me anymore. So you pull me in, pull me in close and say, stay forever. I think you should put your bag down. You should never leave. Baby, you should stay. So this person knows now that they don't make them like you anymore. And for many of them, they had so many excuses. They had so many excuses as to why they didn't let go and give this relationship a chance. For many of them, they were still involved with somebody else. They were seeing somebody else, but still in contact with you, still talking to you, and they had a whole nother life. So when it came down to you, there were excuses. There were um, reasons as to why they can't see you, they can't be with you, but they 
they were not naive to the fact that to know that you were actually changed. They just couldn't believe it. They were not ready to um, follow along and get into alignment with the way things needed to be between the both of you. And now that they know this, they're just like, hey, you should put your bags down. You should put your pride down. You should put your feelings down. You should put your emotions down. You know, I'm sorry that I hurt you. And I want to make this work. And in this lyrical message, she just she's just like, you know, um, you're educated. And you know that they don't make them like me anymore. You know, you smart. You see what's happening. You see what the Lord is doing. You see that this is not something that I'm doing on my own. You see that I am the person that I've been trying to be to you the whole entire time. But you didn't trust the process. And you left before the movie was over. You didn't give me a chance. And for many of you... You know, the Lord is not allowing you to even get back into a relationship with this person or to even get back involved with this person. And for many of you, the ones that the Lord is allowing to do that, you know, the Lord wants you to know that the only reason why this thing is coming together, because we're not really looking at the problem. You know, we're speaking to the potential of this situation. This it took prayer. It took prayer. It took God, it took faith because this person has been trying everything that they could do to actually convince you that, hey, things are not the same. Things are not the way that they used to be. I really love you. I really care for you. I was immature. The past is the past. Let go. I never stopped caring about you. Put your bags down. Come on back with me. Other scripture um, that the Lord has allowed me to allow you to know is simply talking about forgiveness. The ones that he's told to move forward and don't spend the block. Um Luke 6 and 37. Um, this is just talking about forgiveness, right? And it just says, forgive others and you will be forgiven. It's that simple. Forgive and move forward. If the Lord has not told you to spend the block, then you don't spend the block. The group of you that the Lord is speaking to today, and you're going to know because this is why I say this message is not for everyone. So don't try to make it fit. You're going to know because it's going to be confirmation to you. So if it's not for you, you know, that's fine. If you know that the Lord told you don't go back, don't you go back. Don't you do that. But if you know that this is something that you're believing that the Lord to bring back together for you and this person to be reunited and joined back together. Some of you don't care what the person did. You want them to be back, but you want to make sure that it's for real this time. So that's that part to where she's just like, you know, hey, you're educated and you know, they don't make them like me anymore. Amen. This is going both ways. <laughs> and God is giving you direction in both ways the holy spirit is leading and guiding you into all truth with this situation so they want you to stay forever they know that the past is the past for many of them and they're sorry that they hurt you they want you to put down everything let your guard down but that's going to take time for those of you that the lord has told or instructed you guys to come back together it's going to take time because once your trust is broken, it's kind of hard. So it's not going to be that easy. And for the ones that the Lord is telling to move forward, this is something that wasn't easy for you at first. But as time went on by, you know, you found who you were in Christ and you're moving forward. And this person knows it and they see everything that the Lord is doing is good. And you're just like, bye-bye. <laughs> you're just like, bye-bye, because I know that I've been strung along by you for years, for for some time now. I already know what time it is when it comes to you. Whatever you selling, I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. And those are the instructions, you know, that the Lord is giving currently in these situations because it's going, it's going both ways. It's, <laughs> this is going. This is this word here is so juicy message is so juicy what did you guys do to that man or that woman but yes <laughs> you know they're just saying you know hey the devil put tricks and thoughts in my mind right and the enemy's job is to steal kill and destroy that's his job you know that's what he, he's a roaring lion seeking whoever he may devour and the part you know for the ones that know that it's over and that there's no more reruns of this episode. You're just like, okay, I understand. The enemy did that, but you partook partook in this situation as well because you made that choice to string me along for all of this time. 
knowing you had another life, knowing you had somebody else, and I'm just done. I'm not, I'm not um, mad at you. I'm not living in regret. I'm just done. I'm just, I'm finished. I love you with the love of Christ in my heart, the love, the way God tells me to love each and every individual. But as far as you and I, there's no reruns. And on the other end, for the ones that the Lord is speaking to at this time with this same particular um, message, um, the Lord is allowing you to know that through it all, even though the enemy's job is to steal, kill, and destroy, I will bring that thing back to this person's mind. And God does, like he shows you, like you're going to see the light. Here's the thing. You're going to see the light either way, whether you messed up and want to fix it, you messed up and want to fix it and it's too late. Either way it go, you're going to see the light because when God said, when God spoke in Genesis, he said, let there be light. And there was light. It's going to be light in this situation. So, you know, you're going to see that person is going to see that they messed up. Um, that it's too late or that God has given them another chance to get this right. And that's just not everybody's reality. But this person, whoever this message is for, you know, <clears throat> you were right in their face and they didn't even see it. They didn't even know it because they were looking at, you know, what the enemy had inside of their mind, those thoughts, those ideas. And God is just allowing you to know at this time to come to me seek me trust me and he's allowing you to know that he was he's right in your face the whole time he was right in your face the whole time allowing you to know that come to me as you are come to me whether your heart is broken come to me whether you are short on something come to me whether you're feeling broken god is just saying come to me i mean i was in your face the whole time i never left you nor have i forsaken you i've never forgotten about you amen amen Let's go to the throne of grace. Father God, we thank you for this message that you've given to us today. We silence the voice of every Goliath that's speaking negative. Father God, I ask and pray right now that you have your way. Deliver us from making poor choices and bad decisions. Father God, we thank you in advance and we love you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Shalom in the Lord, meaning peace in the Lord. If you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. As the Lord downloads to me, I'm going to upload to you what the Holy Spirit gives to me to give to you. Amen. If this message is for you and you know that the whole time, you know, that you are believing that this person was right in your face or they're believing that you're right in their face, vice versa, by vice versa. And you know that the Lord is bringing this together. You've confessed your sins one to another. You're going to work this thing out and move forward. Amen. Go ahead and sow into this ministry or sow into this message as this as the Lord lays it on your heart to do so. Amen. Or if this message is just for you in general, amen. Or if you just want to sow into this ministry, you can do so. And people have been asking, how can they sow? You can do so by Cash App, PayPal, Zelle, Super Thanks, Um I don't do checks at this time. I do apologize. But when you do sow, sow expecting to reap a harvest. Do like the widow woman did. When she um, sowed into the prophet's hand, God multiplied it. And God wants to multiply in your life. And I'm going to stand in agreement with you as long as God can get the glory. Amen. It's all about God. It's all about him getting the glory. Marriage is a gift and he wants this to happen for you suddenly, but he also wants you to recognize what's for you and what's not for you by using your discernment spirit as well. But ain't nobody mad but the devil. Tell that old devil, if you're going to be rapping, I'm going to be singing, we'll be doing a duet, but you're not going to back me into a corner and make me feel and believe that I'm not going to have who and what God has for me because what's for me is for me. Your faith is the only thing that pleases God. So believe by faith that it's already done and it's happening for you. The Lord pays child support on your behalf and he does not play about you. Amen. Amen. If you need a prayer request, I'm doing email only. I don't do phone calls. I do apologize. But if you need an email, I'm sorry, if you need a prayer request, send it right on over to me. Just be patient with me. Amen. Amen. Well, I love you guys with the love of Christ. And you already know there's nothing you can do about it. You know, I'll see you in the next video.